everyone, every human being, male and female, no matter what age, no matter where in the world, is called to arrive at the wholeness and unity of existence. To arrive at the wholeness and unity of existence. Very few people arrive at wholeness and unity. They're so distracted by, by little things. So, everyone should build his whole personality, his whole being, lahat buong niyang pagkatao dapat may matibay na batayan, foundation. And not only that, in one sense, we never arrive at wholeness and unity. Because the universe is evolving. We grow old. We journey towards the future. So some theologians say we are called to self-transcendence. Lalampasan mo, hihigitan mo yung iyong sarili. Lalong yumayabong ang iyong pagkatao. You become more human. So our vocation, our calling, the reason why we are in this universe is to become more than what we are. At every moment of our lives, every human be a human being is a being that is always already beyond. That is the reality of our lives. We're already thinking. Tonight, tomorrow, five years from now even, there are some people who are so future-oriented, they plan their lives many years beforehand, a human being is a being that is always already beyond, called to self-transcendence. And the mass of humanity do not hear that call. And there are many who hear that call but still partake in the table of demons according to St. Paul. They commit idolatry. They live according to the flesh, according to St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. So what does the Gospel tell us today about our being human? The Lord is saying, I am the foundation. You should build your humanity, you should build your future on me. You should come to me, you should listen to my word, and act on them. Then you will arrive at self-transcendence. Then you will always long for, whole, for the wholeness and unity of your existence. Very big words. Beyond the understanding of many people. Because they are so intent on the pleasures that the world can bring. And then those who are here, they do not need to listen to my words. Those who need to listen, that this is the reason why we are here together with the galaxies and the comets and the pulsars and the quasars in this wide universe. The only reason is to become more than what we are. And Jesus is offering us today, come to me, listen to my words, act on them, and you will become more than what you are. He is inviting us. We only do, we can only arrive at the wholeness and unity of our existence if we listen to him, come to him, listen to him, act on his words, build our lives on that foundation because he is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody listen. Very few people are doing it. So we should pray today in the Eucharist. He is here with us. He is calling us. St. Paul said, the cup of blessing that we bless, 
is a participation in the blood of Christ. The bread that we break is, is a participation in the body of Christ who is the way, the truth, and the life. So if we are called, if we hear a strong urge towards holiness and unity, we should come to Christ, we should listen to his words and act on them. And let us also pray for those who have not even discovered the reason why they are in this world. Hanggang survival na lang sila. Kawawa naman. Kasi marami ding mahirap dahil marami ding tao nag-idolatry. Uh, nag Pera ang hinahanap nila. There are very few people who are filthy rich in our country. And that is why there are also a lot of people who never have the time to come to Mass, participate in the Eucharist, to think about the deeper things because they have nothing to eat for lunch. And that is our duty also. We arrive at the wholeness and unity of our existence by personal holiness, social transformation, doing something so that poverty can be eased, can be lessened, can be minimized. Doing something so that there will be peace on earth. Doing something so that the ravaging, the rape and pillage of nature will be minimized. Personal holiness, social transformation. Laging nakakalimutan itong Lagi na ngang nakakalimutan ang personal holiness dahil walang makain, lalong nakakalimutan ang social transformation so that there will be peace and justice in this world and the kids can enjoy a clean and green environment. So as we partake of the blood of Christ in the Eucharist, as we participate in the cup of blessing, as we break bread today in the Eucharist, let us pray that we will never lose sight of our calling to become everything that we can be. That is why we accept Christ as Lord and Savior. As we listen to God's word, as we participate in the breaking of the bread and the blessing of the cup, let us pray also for the mass of humanity. That is our mission. Pray for the SBDs. We would like to bring back people to thinking about the important things in life, to remind them that they are called to wholeness and unity, to help them so that they will have something to eat. Please pray on Thursday, September 15 at 6 p.m. We will have a dinner to raise funds so that we could feed the children. We are feeding 300 children every day. And sometimes because money is lacking, la the food that we give also lacks nutrients and vitamins. Pray that there will be kind-hearted and generous people who will share out of the bounty that God has given so that we could feed as many children as possible with nutri noodles made from red kamote containing malunggay and mongo, soya and saluyot so that the brains of the kids will be connected in the right way. Let us pray to the Blessed Virgin Mary as we celebrate her memorial this Saturday she is health of the sick, that we will be protected from the virus, and that we will have the desire and the energy to transform society so that the future can be a future of justice and peace and the integrity of creation. Mother Nature is defended and protected.